Mr. Chavez, you have too many infections. My name is uh, Dan Chavez, and I'm running for State Senator District 29. I'd like to, first of all, thank uh, Representative Acosta and all of you students for holding this session today. And uh, I'd like to tell you students that, uh, you know, I was there where you're at one time, and you can make a difference. If I would have known, if I would have been involved earlier in my life, uh, I could have made a better difference, okay? It's a very, I'm very, uh, very uh, proud of you for doing what you're doing. As you know, I'm an economic professor uh, here in El Paso. Been there for seven years. I own a multinational company that I've owned for 22 years. And I've had the opportunity to travel abroad, uh, all over the United States. I've had the opportunity to deal with uh, billion dollar companies. My experiences are various. Uh, one of them is I'm able to negotiate well with these CEOs and company owners and get what I want. This is what I want to take to Austin with me. I've dealt with several of them. I've done feasibility studies before of companies coming into uh, the El Paso Juarez area, which is twin plants. I've uh, rejected feasibility studies in the past. To tell you right now, I would accept it. If it wasn't for the cartel, we in El Paso have a great opportunity to bring these big companies here to El Paso right now because there's problems in China, there's problems abroad. With my experience, I know what it takes to bring companies here. I'm not just saying it, I know how to do it. So I ask you to please, as this uh, forum goes on, look at our experiences, and look at the qualifications, and look at what's more important, jobs, education. My three main topics are jobs, education, and health care. So please go out and vote, make a difference this October, the early voting, and cast your vote for sure, and number second for the best candidate. Again, my name is Dan Chavez, and I thank you uh, for having this forum. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. We have a two-minute introduction. Good morning, buenos dias, students and administrators. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I want to thank Burgess and uh, Representative Acosta for having us and sharing our thoughts on the uh, on the Texas legislature and what we would like to do as candidates. I think it's important for young people to get involved. The Wall Street Journal just had a, a, uh, a survey that indicated that only about 32% of the young people ages 20, uh, 18 to 35 are expected to vote in this election. I think those of you guys who are 18 should prove the Wall Street Journal wrong. We need more involvement from young people. Why? Because the issues that are confronting us in this state are impacting you and your families and your future in ways that need to be addressed. I have been your county attorney for the last 17 years until I resigned uh, November of last year, almost a year ago, to run for this position. And as county attorney, I'm very proud of the records that we developed at the county of El Paso. I was a proactive county attorney. That means that I didn't just kind of handle our cases as most prosecutors do throughout the state, present them in court, and rest on our laws as to whether we won or lost cases. I was more interested in bringing about change in the community and making people's lives better, improving conditions in the community. So under those kinds of uh, approaches, for example, uh, in the area of uh, crime, we aggressively uh, went after the transnational gangs like the, like the uh, Barrio Azteca, more recently the Bloods in the Northeast. Uh, we worked with Representative Joe Pinkett to strengthen the graffiti statutes. And we did a lot of things to try to make our community safer. We also worked very hard in the area of healthcare to get our medical school to get more opportunities for young people. Education is big, and we need to do something about that. We have a state that uh, turns back federal dollars for teachers that, uh, that is proposing to cut science books and science laboratories. It's something that needs to be addressed. So I will be as active as I was in the county attorney's office in the Texas legislature. Thank you. Thank you. Now, to students, we'll ask you two questions. You have one, one minute to answer. Okay, one of the first things that uh, I want to do is, like 
can do abroad in Mexico and also Europe. In fact, I can travel to those areas. And as a student gets into the eighth grade level, you, you monitor the student, you qualify him, and you ask the student what career path he wants to follow. As he dictates the career path he wants to follow, then when they go to the transition, and that's what you do in the eighth grade, is when they go in the second year, the second half of the eighth grade, they know exactly what they're going to do. They go into high school and then they follow a career path of their choice. And what happens is you get better skilled uh, uh, employees at that time and more satisfied students. Uh, consequently, uh, you, you're more efficient uh, and effective. Another thing I would do is I would have a business uh, uh, mentor in, in, in high schools so they can ask questions to this person. Uh, and, uh, and also the, the star testing. I would, I would uh, modify the star testing and I would actually look at uh, an increased type of making it a better, a better method. Getting better methods, we can argue with Getting better methods to, to implement uh, uh, quality education, okay? Doctors and other healthcare professionals, how do you plan on increasing funds for these fields without raising taxes? 